This is the Millennium Falcon in Starfield. I'm going to show you exactly how to build it yourself. First, come to Alpha Centauri, go to Jemison, and on planet Jemison, land at New Atlantis. When you land in the main area, walk up to the ship services technician, talk to him, and ask what ships he has for sale. You will have to buy the Galileo ship, as you will be using some of its parts for this build. After buying it, ask the same guy I like to view and modify my ships. Go into the shipbuilder mode and start to take apart your ship, leaving all the pieces separate. The first part is the Stroud Nose Cap C. This will be a piece from the ship we just bought. If you can't find any pieces from the shops you add onto the ship, it's probably a piece from the ship we just bought. The Aku Lander 11 landing gear goes right behind this piece on both sides. This is also a piece from the other ship. Hit G to attach or add a new piece. Go under the Habs tab and find the Nova Galactic storeroom one by one. Place that right here. Add another piece under the Habs tab. Find Nova Galactic all-in-one berth two by one. Here you will have to scroll over to find some of the other variants. You will have to do this to find some of the other pieces in the build. Find the Nova Galactic living quarters two by one and place that right here. Flipping around, add a Nova Galactic control station 2x1 and place it like this. Under Habs, add a Nova Galactic storeroom 1x1 on the outside. Then grab a Viking CP100 cockpit from the extra parts that came with the old ship, then place right in front. Now under the structural tab, add a Nova Calling 1LTF right on top of here. Add the same one again and flip it around with a Z to place it right behind the other one. Under the structural tab, add a Nova Cowling 2LPA, then flip it with Z and place it right here. Then grab a Nova Cowling 2LS F and place that on the opposite side like this. Grab the Echo Lander 11 landing gear from the old ship we just bought and place three of them along the back side like this. Under the structural tab again, grab some porthole 4 to put on top of the Echo Landers. Then add three White Dwarf 3000 engines right behind these Echo Landers. Now moving to the middle and the other side, ignore the back, I messed it up on my end, but on your end, it should be good. Under the Habs tab, add a Nova Galactic Living's Quarter 2x1 right in the middle here. From the old ship parts, grab a Strout Storeroom 1x1 and add it right here. Under the reactors tab, add a 360T Stellarator reactor in this gap. You can attach these two pieces on the side now. Under the Habs tab, add a Nova Galactic Companionway 1x1 right here. Under the Shields tab, add a 10S Protector Shield Generator right on top of the Companionway. Under the Habs tab, add a Nova Galactic Workshop 2x1 right here. Under Structural tab, add a Nova Cowling 2LPF right onto the front side here. From the old ship parts, grab a Stability Pro Landing Bay. You might have to flip it around and place it here. Grab another Nova Galactic Companionway one by one and place it right here. Under structural tab, add a Nova Cowling 2 LPA and place it on the backside here. Now your ship should look a little something like this. All we have to do is the weapons and the top now. Under structural tab, add a Nova Cowling 2 LTF and place it right here. Add the Demos Hall A right here. Add an R2000 Alpha Grab Drive right behind it. The old ship has a 3000 Grab Drive, which is better, but it doesn't meet the flight check requirements, so it's best to use the 2000. Add another Nova Cowling 1 LTF under structural tab right here and place one more flipped around right behind it. Under structural tab, add a Demos bumper port for right here. Under fuel tank tab, add M30 Ulysses HE3 tank right here. Flip around and do the same thing, adding the Demos bumper port for and M30 Ulysses HE3 tank just like so. Now we just gotta add weapons and you can add any weapon you would like. I placed a KE20 cannon on top, then under the ship I placed two Dragon 221P MW Pulse lasers and two Infiltrator SC-01 missile launchers under the cockpit. Lastly, do not forget to place the 100 dp slim docker from under the dockers tab under the ship just behind where the cockpit is now you can delete all the extra parts laying around for the old ship now go into the flight check then click weapons to assign your weapons so you can use them now you can change all the colors of each part of the ship to a grayish color lowering the saturation down and making the brightness to that grayish color shout out to willis gaming on youtube i found the specific ship design from him now you guys can explore starfield with your millennium falcon here's the ship tour along with the liftoff and a little bit of flying in outer space